Hi, I'm Amy Wolf with ViewCast. No matter what physical, emotional, or mental hurdles you're jumping in life, music is a powerful medicine. At the Vanderbilt Kennedy Center, a unique camp has folks with Williams Syndrome rubbing shoulders with stars like Carrie Underwood, Darius Rucker, and Winona. ViewCast Barb Kramer takes us inside this amazing camp where music is going right to the heart. This is music from the heart. It ends here on the Grand Ole Opry stage, singing with Darius Rucker. Music we can sing everywhere we go. One, two, three. But it starts here at camp at Vanderbilt, practicing their music. Second year camper Betsy James loves it. God gave us a brain and the ability to have a craving for music like we do. That's just really something. All right, so the intro is going to be real short. It's going to be camper Brendan Lemieux has been here six years. I love it. Every year is different, you know, different experiences. You meet different people and it's it's a lot of fun for me. It's a very special camp for those with Williams syndrome, a genetic disorder caused by a missing piece on the seventh chromosome. On the one hand, people with Williams syndrome have significant cardiac disease, medical issues, developmental issues and challenges. On the other hand, they have this remarkable love of music, unusual auditory processing. They're very interested in people, Huge heart, lots of empathy. We live in harmony. Dykin started the camp seven years ago, and this is the largest group yet, 31 campers from age 16 to 40. Yeah, right a big hit. This is the second year that the Academy of Country Music has sponsored the week-long Lifting Lives residential camp. Professional songwriters and singer Gary Allen helped the campers write original songs. Some of them threw out um, like good rhymes like that made sense that were like, you know, it's amazing how sharp they are and how engaging they are. And the campers recorded those songs, but first met with Carrie Underwood. Hello. It's just warm and it's love and it's, they were so happy to be there and to see me. It just made me happy, um, and I didn't do anything. I just walked in and said hello, and um, we all were singing songs together before you knew it. And their week included karaoke with Winona. These kids were all about the music. They knew exactly what to sing. They knew when to sing it. You could tell they'd been practicing, and it's their, their passion. Research, too, is an important part of the camp to determine why music affects the camper so deeply. This year, researchers utilized non-invasive EEG and brain imaging to see how campers' brains respond differently. They may learn in a different way, they may pick up things in a different way, so we need to figure out how best to kind of tap into those natural strengths that they have and help them with day-to-day -day kind of quality of life issues like fears, anxieties, and being able to be resilient when day-to-day -day stresses kind of get you down. Welcome to our lives. But performing and singing are the campers' big moments. We rehearsed all our lives and practiced all our parts. Like singing live with Darius Rucker at the ACM Awards Show. It's amazing to be up there with them. Oh, for me, it's just... I mean, God said it. I mean, it's so much, it's so fun, it's, it's so moving. Every time I'm in, the plas in their presence, every time I'm around them, they, they love what they do so much. For Betsy and the others, this camp is a very special time. We're more than just casual friends. We're a family because um, this camp is totally the best camp ever. For ViewCast, I'm Barb Kramer. Right now, there are only three Williams Syndrome camps in the country, 
Vanderbilt has the only camp with a major research component. Directors hope their findings will lead to a new treatment for all people who struggle with anxiety. Learn more about the Kennedy Center and the research they're doing on kc.vanderbilt.edu. Two, one, zero, and liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle. America will continue the dream. Watching the final takeoff of the space shuttle Atlantis is downright amazing to see. But for one Vanderbilt professor, this mission is incredibly personal. Dean of the Graduate School and Vice Provost for Research, Dennis Hall's niece is an astronaut aboard Atlantis. Read an in-depth story about Hall, his niece Sandy Magnus, and Hall's reaction to what is said to be the final voyage of the shuttle program. Just go to news.vanderbilt.edu and type in space shuttle. Check out the newest members of the Vanderbilt Athletics Hall of Fame. See their pictures and stories on vanderbilt.edu. Search Athletics Hall of Fame. Nashville, Tennessee! Tens of thousands of us are still in a post-YouTube glow after an amazing concert in Vanderbilt Stadium. But now that Bono and his rock and roll spaceship have left Nashville, crews are hard at work getting the field ready for the doors. The grass is being completely replaced and the team will have a newly sodded field in time for football season. Maybe the Commodore will keep those cool Bono-inspired shades on until U2 comes back for another concert. Until next time, I'm Amy Wolf.